Hey guys, today we talk about the Adidas Tubular Rise. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Adidas Tubular Rise. So today I change it up from my usual Nike and Jordan reviews and hit you guys with a little bit of Adidas. Like all in all, I like these shoes, they're nice. I like the top of the sneaker and I like the overall concept of these Adidas Tubular Rise. But without any further ado, let's get straight into the sneaker review, people. So it has a booty on the insole of the sneaker, which re really looks nice and I believe adds to stability of the shoe when you're walking in it. In addition to that, you can see on the outside of the sneaker, it's made predominantly of prime knit in this tan colorway. Also, you'll notice that on the lateral and also the medial portion of the sneaker, you have this suede material that also adds to the stability of the sneaker and it's a nice design in my personal opinion and I like how they incorporated this tan color to the sneaker. The midsole and also the outsole of the sneaker have this Eva midsole or outsole and it's basically synthetic rubber and apparently it's supposed to give you more stability as well. But for me, I don't care about all the technology that comes to this new, to this new, to the shoe, but what I care about is does it look good? And in my opinion, this sneaker looks good. Nice detailing of this sneaker can be seen in the shoelacing system where it goes in and out through the prime knit and also is connected to this side paneling of the suede on the medial and lateral portion of the sneaker. And all in all, I think that that is a really nice touch to the sneaker. Another thing that I really appreciate about the sneaker is the minimalism attached to it. You don't see a lot of Adidas branding all over it. On the bottom, you see Adidas branding and on the side, you see Tubular Rise or Tubular RS, which I think is really nice. Nowadays, a lot of sneakers are going with a lot of minimalism. You don't have like crazy logo all over the sneaker and I personally really appreciate that when it comes to sneakers and fashion in general. Digging a little bit deeper, you'll notice that when you look at the prime knit on this sneaker, it is covered in tan, but if you look a little bit closer, it has little dots of yellow and also blue or black I believe, or maybe even gray. I don't know, but it blends well with the sneaker. The lace tips are yellow, which coincides with the little elements of yellow on the sneaker and inside the sneaker as well. These sneakers are running for about 150 bucks, but I'm sure if you wait a little, you could probably get it on a discount. Sizing wise, I went with a 12 and a half, which is my true size. So I would suggest going true to size when it comes to these Adidas Tubular Rise. Casa, question of the day, people. What do you think about these Adidas Tubular Rise? Did you guys end up copying these sneakers? Am I crazy for copying them? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. So my sneaker talk is up for today. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching any of my previous videos. I really appreciate all of you guys. Please remember, if you like this short video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> And also guys, hit that notification button for your boy if he did well. But anyways, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.